lot of these were trafficked as children, were started at a young age and have no way to get out of the situation that they're in. Springfield Sergeant Eric East says combating human trafficking is a high priority for police and to help do that, undercover cops connected with possible victims through a website called Skip the Games. It's filled with graphic, naked photos and police say some use it to sell sex. Eight women between the ages of 18 and 27 came to a hotel which police are not naming because it cooperates with the sting. Once uh, uh, there was talk or exchange of money for, for sex, uh, the uh, individuals would be detained. Some were charged with soliciting prostitution and two men are facing promoting prostitution charges. The investigation could expand. They need to identify who is actually trafficking these, these women. And I think that we shouldn't be surprised when we find it in hotels and on the street and online and it's everywhere. Kelly Carey from the Summit County Collaborative Against Human Trafficking says Ohio has the fifth highest number of human trafficking cases reported in the country. Not just because we have such a significant human trafficking problem, which we do, but it's also because we're identifying trafficking more in Ohio. Carey says helping people out of the dark world is critical. Victim advocates offered emotional support and more to the women in Springfield Township last night. As well as shelter, um, linkage with detox or safe people that can wrap around them and offer mentoring services. Sergeant East says the sting proves human trafficking is not just a big city problem. This can happen anywhere. It can happen in any community and it does.